Hi, my name is Vanilla Language and I'm a professional triathlete. I'd like to thank Wiltshire Council for all their support this year so far, helping me to train better, smarter and stronger. They've asked me to come on here and answer a few of your questions. So, here we go. I'm sorry um, if I don't read these very well. Um, so, question number one. How and when did you start triathlon? So, I started triathlon about seven years ago and I started at Cardiff University. I swam and ran a bit when I was younger, but I also did gymnastics, um, hockey, so I was just a pretty active child, but it wasn't until that third year of university where I thought I really got involved in the sport of triathlon. Uh, okay, question number two. How easy was it to make the move from Olympic distance to the longer 70.3 distance? And what changes did you have to make in your training? So I think the change was actually quite easy and I don't think people should be scared to make the move from uh, Olympic distance to the slightly longer 70.3 distance. It's just a change of a goal. Um, you just go about your training just slightly differently. Um, but as long as you're being consistent and keeping up with all three dis disciplines, swim, bike and run over the week, I think you'll definitely be able to complete um, move from Olympic distance to 70.3 distance. Uh, main difference, swim's not so different, um, it's just a bike and run, maybe you need to change your structure of your fast sessions, but keep ticking along, keep going, um, add a little bit more volume in and it, it's fine, you, anyone could do it. <laughs> Question number three. How have you overcome any setbacks you have experienced during your race, during racing or training? Oof. Um, I've had quite a few little setbacks, mind setbacks here and there. Last year was probably the season for more setbacks as I had a foot niggle and I also broke my collarbone. Um, and the way that I feel you should uh, address any like setback or minor hump in the road in your training is just to take one step at a time set yourself small goals each day um, tick them off and then so sooner enough you'll you'll get to that end point where you, you would like to be or you aim to be or maybe su suppress that and get even further or get even fitter um, uh, what something my, one of my coaches says to me is hurry slowly so you have to just take your time look at the bigger picture put things in perspective um, and how lucky you are to be training to be out running um, if you can't the lucky thing I guess with triathlon is if you can't do one thing you can always start improving on the other so it's a really great sport for that and if you have weakness in one thing you might excel in another so yeah you have to just take each step at a time, look at the bigger picture, bit of perspective. I think it's always a great thing. Question number four, I'm getting lost. Okay, so here we are. How many hours a week do you train and how do you balance your training between all three? So I currently train about 25 to 30 hours a week um, over all three distances uh, disciplines including and that includes like gym sessions and mobility and stuff like that so a lot of like 20-30 minute things just squeezed in there to keep my body in working order um, I would say it's quite an even split time wise and focus wise between all three um, maybe at different points of the year it might be slightly different but yeah it's I do all three all year round um, I guess with the longer distances you might, and the nature of cycling, you might spend more time hours on the bike because um, you might do longer rides, um, sessions might be quite slightly longer but then again sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get to the pool and that takes out a little bit more time but yeah pretty even split over O3. Um, to be a strong all-rounded athlete I think that's what you need to be doing these days, you can't have one strength you've got to be pretty good over all three of them um, and these could the sessions might we try to hit all energy bases in all three disciplines all through the year so we always have a 
easy recovery swim and aerobic or, or swim or anything aerobic training uh, more of a tempo sessions and then a fast vo2 sets as well so i hope that answers that question uh, question number five do you have any favorite music you listen to when you are training cool um i have a very eclectic random taste um i like cheesy pop bit of hip-hop um some funky jazz uh, it really does depend on the day and the type of session but quite a lot of the time when I'm out riding, I just have, have my own thoughts. It's just a nice place to just wander, not think about anything. <laughs> uh, question number six. What advice would you would you give someone who wants to get involved in triathlon? Do it. Don't be scared by anything or what people may have and all, all these different bits of kit. Um, just get involved. Uh, Give it a go. I'd advise you to maybe go down to your local tri club, and they and because tri the triathlon community is amazing, they'll welcome you with open arms, giving you tips, help, uh, anything you may want. That people have got old little bits and bobs they may be able to give you to get you started. Um, advice, um, even something that may seem quite small piece of advice to them will help you no end and everyone in the triathlon community would be happy to help so yeah get involved and go find your local club uh next question flip over number seven well not on strictly but yeah <laughs> what has been your best achievement slash result so far oh um, I'm still quite new to pro, to pro uh, professional triathlon racing, so it's only my second year and with COVID I haven't done as going to mean much racing as I would have liked, but so far my best race would, probably would have been Elsinore, uh, 70.3 European champs last year where I came second. I think it wasn't necessarily the best race in terms of the stages of the race I didn't have a great swim I could have done a little bit of things differently but how I cope with that and my mental strategy throughout the race um, was probably the best and uh, I came off the bike and I was running with past and present Olympians so and I managed to keep my cool run the fastest bike split and I came second so I'm now officially second in Europe so yeah that's probably my favourite race so far. Next question, number eight. Um, who inspires you and why? Oh, that's quite tricky. Um, actually, to be honest, I think all you guys inspire me. People who do this for fun, day in, day out, around their work, and love it, and have that passion, and enthusiasm, and the love of sport, the people who are happy, um, my friends and family inspire me to keep going, to keep doing the thing I love doing, um, to keep smiling. Yeah, I think that's the, the main people who spur me on and keep me going and keep me level-headed. Question number nine. What is the best piece of triathlon-related advice you have ever received and who was it from? Uh, this was probably from a professional British triathlete called Lucy Gossage. She said, uh, don't put anyone on a pedestal. So no one, no one is unbeatable, everyone is human. Um, it's that courage and commitment that can go a long way and you can get as far as you would like. Um, there's no glass ceiling, you can, you can break that down. Um, all those little, little sayings, it's just that, yeah, don't put a ceiling on what you feel like you can do. No one should be telling you you can't do something. If you want it enough, and then you can do it. And you should be passionate and should be strong in your beliefs and what you want to do and what you want to achieve. So, yeah, that's probably the best bit of advice from Lucy Gossage, yeah? Um, number 10. 
what are your up and coming goals and where do you see yourself in five years? Cool, up and coming. This is, I suppose, like most people out there, a little bit, hmm, we don't really know what's going on in the triathlon world. A few races are popping up here and there. Um, the main goal at the beginning of the year was World Championships, but they have been postponed or pushed back to next year. Uh, so really, I just want to race. I just want to get out there and celebrate triathlon, celebrate, celebrate all the training that I've done and show everyone how fit and how much fun I'm having while racing. So be that a local race, be that a race here in France, or I just want to get out and race this year, just have some fun and and do that. My longer term goals, if everything gets back into the rhythm of things, um, will be to com be competitively, cons consistently competitive at, at any race I turn up at, be that, um, uh, local race, uh, world championships or anything like that. I want to see myself up there in the mix, podiuming at all different types of race, races and then with the aim of coming top five at world championships. So yeah, that's it. That's my aim for the next few years. Um, and that was the 10 questions. Hi guys. I'm just here at the lake after a two point something swim and I'm going to do my wetsuit challenge. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one. Oh no! So that's a wrap from me today. I hope you enjoyed the wetsuit challenge. If you guys do it as well, film yourself and send it in. I'd love to see how fast you can get your wetsuit off after one of your open water swims. I'd just like to, if you're looking for any other support and information, please head over to the active community page on the workshop website. And just to let you know that the Ask the Athletes is going to take a little break from now. And it will, but we'll be back in August. So hopefully you'll see more athletes like me helping you out, encouraging you to get out there and get active. For now, goodbye. See you guys later.